Eamon Holmes is among the list of stars named on the New Year Honours list. The This Morning presenter joined Strictly Come Dancing judge Darcy Bussell, comedian Hugh Laurie and Grimes star Wiley on the long list of celebs to be awarded by the Queen for 2018. The King of Breakfast Television Eamon has said being named in the New Year Honours is like getting a gold star for your homework. The 58-year-old television stalwart and journalist from Belfast, who is known for hosting GMTV, This Morning and Sky News Sunrise across his nearly four decades on the box, is receiving an OBE for his services to broadcasting. He said, it's like getting a gold star for your homework, 2018 will be my 38th year as a broadcaster and I can't think of a better way of marking that. It's a wonderful accolade. Eamon's career as a broadcaster started at Northern Ireland's Ulster Television in the early 1980s, where he became the UK's youngest news anchor at 21 after previously having the role of the station's farming and sporting reporter. He told the Belfast Telegraph in 2015, ''Nobody on TV is given an anchor job at 21. When I look back now I just think wow. I was useless at most things, but I knew how to handle a TV studio. Over the years, his career broadened and he went on to work at the BBC in 1986, but it was his move to ITV in the early 1990s that cemented his place as a titan of breakfast TV. He made his name as a newscaster presenting GMTV from 1993 until 2005, and was dubbed the King of Breakfast Television. For more than a decade Eamon anchored the flagship morning program as well as juggling game show roles, regularly hosting the National Lottery Jet Set and pseudo Q on the BBC. Since 2006, the star has had a weekly Friday morning slot on ITV's This Morning with wife Ruth Langsford, whom he married in 2010. Following his GMTV stint, Eamon moved to Sky where he presented Sky News Sunrise for 11 years until 2016. Paul Hollywood's bakes his other credits include Channel 5 program How the Other Half Lives, which he presented with Ruth, a presenting role on the BBC's Songs of Praise, and he occasionally pops up as a guest presenter on ITV's Good Morning Britain. Earlier this year, he was named the nation's favourite breakfast host of all time in a Radio Times poll beating the likes of Susanna Reid, Dan Walker and Chris Evans. And he said that Ruth was even more delighted about his honour than he was. He said, Ruth was even more thrilled than I was. I think she just thought it was very well deserved. However, the TV star said there will be no celebrating until the investiture. He said, no celebrating until you make sure it's going to happen. The big dilemma is who to bring. My daughter is a big royalist, she loves everything to do with the royal family so she's booked her place. Ruth would stand aside to allow our 15-year-old son to go, 
he would be very proud. We have that dilemma so three tickets would be perfect. Darcy Bustle has said she is truly humbled to receive the honour being made a dame in the Queen's New Year honours. Ballerina Darcy, 48, is being honoured for her services to dance, following a career that has spanned more than 20 years. In a statement she said, I am truly humbled to receive this honour. Alexandra Burke isn't in final. I gratefully accept it on behalf of all the dance organisations that I am so fortunate to be part of. Dance is such a beautiful art form. It is inspiring and provides joy, social cohesion and well-being. She is being awarded the upgraded honour more than 10 years after she was given a CBE in the Queen's Birthday Honours and over 20 years after her first accolade of an OBE in 1995. Recently she has switched her pranked shoes for ballroom heels while she appears as a judge on popular BBC One series Strictly Come Dancing. She studied at the Royal Ballet School from the age of 13 and went on to become the then youngest ever principal at the Royal Ballet in 1989 age at just 20. Grime star Wiley has said receiving an MBE in the New Year's Honours is like the school grade I wanted and didn't get but added he is now finally there. The musician, whose real name is Richard Cowie, and who is often referred to as the godfather of grime, is being honoured for his services to music. He said, I'm honoured to be receiving an MBE. It feels like the school grade I wanted and didn't get but now I'm finally there. I would like to thank my mother and father plus all family members and friends for being there for me when I needed them. For Wiley whom Skepta has credited with being an inspiration in his career, it has been quite a journey. The 38-year-old has been a pioneer of the underground music scene and has steadily climbed the charts. With grime flexing its muscles once again in recent years, the godfather of the genre deserves credit for the resurgence, almost two decades after the sound was born. This particular rapper, producer, mentor and DJ has seen plenty, including being stabbed on at least three occasions. It is all part of a roller coaster ride of fame which has seen him enjoy a number one hit with Heat Twave as well as infuriate Glastonbury organizers Michael and Emily Evis after tweeting FK them and their farm following a particular rainy year at the festival in 2013. From bumbling British comedian to unlikely international heart throb. The versatile Hugh Laurie has had a remarkable journey as an actor, comedian, writer and a musician. The multi-talented 58-year-old, 
known for his comedy partnership with Stephen Ferry and for roles in sitcom Blue Catter and U.S. drama House, is being awarded the upgraded honor of a CBE in the New Year Honors for his services to drama. Q, born June 11, 1959 in Oxford to gold medal winning rower and Dr. Ran Laurie and Patricia Laidlaw was educated at a top prep school before attending Eton and then Cambridge University. It was there, as the president of the university's renowned Footlights Amateur Drama Club, that he met Fry and, shortly after, a professional partnership was born. The duo's stage success led to their TV sketch show Al Fresco, which also featured the likes of their friend and Hughes' one-time partner Emma Thompson, Ben Elton and Robbie Coltrane. Among the duo's many projects together, their sketch show A Bit of Fairy and Laurie and comedy series Jeeves and Wooster cemented Hugh's reputation as one of the UK's brightest comedy talents. His comedy prowess was further bolstered by his role in Blackadder as the amiable idiot George in the third and fourth series of the hit sitcom in the late 1980s. On the big screen, he has appeared in films such as Peter's Friends, Maybe Baby, Sense and Sensibility, 101 Dalmatians, The Man in the Iron Mask and Stuart Little and its sequel. In 2004, Hugh's star grew even more when he landed the leading role in U.S. medical series House. His portrayal of the unconventional and antisocial Dr. Gregory House won him a litany of top industry prizes, including Golden Globes, Screen Actors Guild Awards and People's Choice Awards, as well as a handful of Emmy nominations. Despite his character's grumpy demeanour, Hugh, who had entertained British audiences for years with his mainly gangly, twit-like characters, earned himself a new wave of admirers across the pond and, in 2006, he was dubbed TV's sexiest man by a US magazine. Drama beckoned again in 2016 when he played villain Richard Roper in acclaimed series The Night Manager, an adaptation of John Le Carre's 1993 thriller novel of the same name. Away from acting, Hughes' debut novel The Gun Cellar was a hit following its release in 1996. In recent years, the star, a skilled musician who can play the piano and drums among other instruments, has entertained a whole new fan base with his musical efforts. He has released two successful blues albums, both of which reached the top three in the UK charts, 2011's Let Them Talk and 2013's Didn't It Rain. In 2007, he was appointed OBE for services to drama and in 2016 he was immortalized with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Hugh has two sons and a daughter with wife Joe Green, who he married in 1989. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.